Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look back in time to one of my favorite role-playing franchise growing up that isn't anything to do with Final Fantasy with Lunar. With the upcoming Lunar Remastered Collection announced to be released in 2025, I was super excited as a flood of memories came back from my old Sega CD, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, and PSP days, and boy, did I buy almost every game on every console that I owned. As a huge Sega fan, I purchased a 16-bit Genesis add-on with a Sega CD that didn't have too many blockbuster titles, but the one game that pushed me away from Final Fantasy at the time was Lunar the Silver Star. Developed by Game Arts and released by Working Designs in 1993, this game was a different kind of RPG using the CD-ROM to offer high-quality audio and voice acting. The game truly left me in awe with its story and audio. Although many criticized the translation for the Japanese original, I had no real issues with them as there was no other option at the time, but had fun with the characters and lore the game provided. With the huge success of the Silver Star, Lunar Internal Blue was set up to improve in almost every facet of the first. Developed by Game Arts and released by Working Designs at pretty much the end of the Sega CD's lifespan in 1995, I always felt this was the way to go. Basically improving in making a longer game, audio, animated cutscenes, dialogue, and visuals, this game is literally how to make a sequel. I felt a more compelling story and really felt complete at the end of this one, as it even calls back to the original being a thousand years later. Wind whispering sweet melodies. That was beautiful, Lucia. Althena herself couldn't have sung it any better. Although selling less overall, the game was a huge success, leading to remakes for the upcoming 32-bit Sega Saturn and the Sony PlayStation. Not owning a PlayStation quite yet, as Final Fantasy VII was not released until a year later, and with many games only being released in Japan, I imported the Japanese version of Lunar the Silver Star Complete for my Sega Saturn in 1996. Although I had to use a guide for the translation, I enjoyed everything about this game as I remembered it for the Sega CD with updated visuals and more animated cutscenes with increased voice acting. The battles were no longer random as you could see the enemies on screen. This would be a trait moving forward as the game was panned a bit for the numerous amounts of random battles from the originals. Also, if you had the MPEG card add-on, it would also take advantage of higher quality animated cutscenes with full screen playback. I didn't have the MPEG card, so I was out of luck. Later, Working Designs took the helm to release the remakes in the US and release them for the PlayStation, where I finally got the English version of Eternal Blue Remake in 2000. Just like the first, this game had more of everything that was just, in my case, the favorite of the series, and I loved every moment of it and got non-Sega players to finally realize this absolute gem. We're almost to Pentagulia, Lucia. After everything we've been through, the end is finally in sight. Once we're there, you can meet with the goddess Althena and your mission will be complete. I would also import a side series, Magic School Lunar, that was made for the Sega Game Gear and remade for the Sega Saturn in 1997 that takes place hundreds of years before the Silver Star story. I picked it up as well and also followed a translation guide to get through. Although a smaller success, it did take advantage of the visuals and animated cutscenes on the Sega Saturn as well. Although not as impactful as the others, I definitely still had fun.
The final game that I purchased in the series was for the PlayStation Portable with Lunar Silver Star Harmony, released in 2010. A good 10 years later from the Eternal Blue Complete. With the added power of the PSP, the game features its most robust visuals and animated sequences. Although the animated sequences were the same from Silver Star Complete, it still derives from the story quite well. The audio sounded good here and like in all versions, so really no loss here. This version did add a new prologue that does give the story away from the original, but was happy overall with the release. Overall, what an incredible franchise so far, and I can't wait for the updated remaster collection in 2025. That's it for this look back at the Lunar franchise. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos, Beho out and Greg. Take us out of here, and I will see you all in the next upload. Yeah.